Hey Chamber Music fans, it's Michelle Schumann here with the Austin Chamber Music Center. So happy to be able to speak with you about our upcoming concert, uh, the beginning of November. I can't wait to see you all there. Um, this concert's called Three's Company and we're celebrating the piano trio, but not the piano trio you might expect, which is for violin, cello, and piano. But what we've decided to do is kind of take a different look at the piano trio and look at instruments that are not as often put together. So we've got French horn, clarinet, violin, and a piano and we're kind of mixing and matching them for three different pieces to really portray this kind of new piano trio sound that we're just not entirely used to. But what's really cool about this is that it really gives us a chance to first of all explore these different combinations of instruments but also explore amazing repertoire that we just don't have much exposure to um, and composed by composers that we also don't get to hear too often. And I want to tell you tonight a little bit about Karl Reinecke. Uh, he's one of the composers that we'll be featuring. And I'm guessing that while most of you have heard of him before, um, you are only mild acquaintances with this composer, um, not best friends. Um, but I think after this concert, he's going to become a pretty close acquaintance, pretty close good friend of yours. Um, this composer, Karl Reinecke, was a German composer. Um, he studied with the absolute greats. He studied with Mendelssohn, Schumann, and Liszt. Um, and later on, he even taught some of the great composers of all time, Edvard Grieg and Leo Janáček. Um, but I think more importantly, Karl Reinecke was hugely regarded among the other circle of composers at the time. Um, he was a conductor of the Gavant House Orchestra right after Mendelssohn was conductor there. And that was a huge post for him to have. He had it for over 20 years and composed world premieres of uh, incredible compositions. Johannes Brahms trusted him with many, many premieres, including the German Requiem and also the P uh, beloved Piano Quintet. These were done in that hall, done with his supervision, done um, with with Brahms's sort of desire for him to do the very best job of it. Um, and not only that, he was very good friends with Franz Liszt. And it was Franz Liszt who looked to Reinecke when he was looking for a piano teacher for his young daughters. Now Liszt was one of the greatest pianists of all time, so I think it's quite a vote of confidence that he would go to Reinecke to be the piano teachers of his own daughters. The trio that we're going to play is written for clarinet, horn, and piano, and it's an, a simply astonishing work. I've been uh, practicing it for some time now, and I'm just absolutely taken by this work. It is, uh, it has so many influences of that romantic period of time. You can totally hear Schumann in it, and you can hear Mendelssohn in it, you can hear Liszt in it, but Reinecke really has his own voice, too. Um, and we love, I love that way he combines horn and clarinet and the piano. The horn always has this kind of evocative sound of nature. You feel like you're out in the woods, you feel the horn calls, and there's something very earthy about the sound that you can get from this instrument in, in a piece of music. And with the clarinet, I always think that it's such a human sound in many ways. It just, it has this singing quality. So with that, we put together the nature, the quality of nature and the quality of human sort of interaction. And then underneath that, the piano is this kind of virtuosic um, underpinning that goes throughout the entire work. Kind of it all ties it together. The work is is heroic, it's narrative, it's dramatic, and at the same time it has this intimacy. Um, Karl Reinecke had this way of storytelling throughout all of his pieces and he takes us on these incredible journeys through the four movements that we'll be playing. It's an amazing work and I'm guessing that most of you have never heard it before, but I know that you're all going to want to go out and get a recording of it because it's just a fantastic work and we can't wait to open up the program with this fantastic piece. Um, I'm going to be coming back next week via the, these videos to tell you a little bit about Aram Kachaturian and the trio we'll be playing by him and also Johannes Brahms' fantastic horn trio, trio for horn, violin, and piano. So join me on those next installments and I can't wait to see you at the beginning of November.